How many people when you're grocery shopping return the carriage, the shopping cart when you're done? How many people return it to the little corral? Good people. Good people. How many people tuck it behind a bush and like, this is someone's job to come get it? I love that you're like, it's goddamn right I do! <laughs> Keeping this economy strong. I've been on the fence, I've done both. For a while I returned. And then I got into like, we were going to this one Vons and the sharpening, usually the corrals were pretty close and I would like to do this one where you push it and you try and glide it in. <laughs> like you gotta be careful when you're shopping, you need to like bend it a little, like know which way it rolls. Does it roll right, does it roll left? Just so you can be that guy. You ever push it and you let it go and you're like, oh shit, that's gonna get a car and you have to like chase it. It's the worst. Someone sees you like, ah, look at this idiot. I was trying to be cool. <laughs> I don't do either of those things anymore. Now I wait till I see somebody who's getting out of their car and I go, hey, you using a shopping cart? And they're like, yeah, why? And I go. <laughs> you ever seen a grown man try and receive a shopping cart at 25 miles an hour? They have no idea, like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> but when they grab it, it's like they just like lassoed a baby calf. You know what I mean? Like they're at the rodeo go inside, maybe they pick up their wife. Because I've filled them with confidence. It's a transference of energy. I don't think being an adult means you have to stop having fun. You know what I mean? I was driving with a couple people, woo! Don't believe it in so much, so I'll just go, woo! I was with my buddy Mike and we were driving. And we pulled up to an intersection, light turned red, and I look over the, the intersection and I see this guy I know named Claude Shires. He's a stand-up comedian, his dad invented Gatorade. That's just a side note. <laughs> so I see him, he's drinking out of a coffee mug and he's got shorts and a t-shirt and flip-flops and he's talking to some guy and they're looking across the street at a building under construction and there's a brand new Toyota 4Runner in front of it. And real quick, I assess the situation and I think to myself, oh look, there's Claude drinking out of a coffee mug. He must live in the neighborhood. Who's this guy? Probably a neighbor. They're probably upset about that building under construction because Claude just got a new forerunner. His dad invented Gatorade. He's got the cash. That's just what my brain thought. It's been like eight years since I've seen him, so I'm not gonna say hi or I'm just gonna let it go. I start talking to Mike. In my rear view, I see Claude walk behind my truck, and then in my side view, I see him looking up at the building, walking this way, and I'm intrigued. I'm wondering, am I right? What if my hypothesis is correct? Only one way to find out, but let's have fun with it. So I look over, I go, hey bro, can't park there, man. He goes, yeah, no, that's not my truck, man. And I go, yeah, but you can't park there. And he goes, yeah, it's not my truck, man. And I go, move your fucking truck, bro. And he goes, it's not my fucking truck, bro. And I go, move your goddamn truck, bro. And he goes, it's not my goddamn truck, bro. And I go, Claude, what's up, man? And he goes, Jay? I go, yeah, light turned green, I took off. <laughs> Haven't seen him since. And my buddy Mike goes, dude, who was that? And I go, bro, that's the heir to the Gatorade fortune. <laughs> and he goes, why did you do that? And I go, cause he's just walking through life, feeling good, happy, maybe he's got a family. And all of a sudden, I just took him to a point of hate and rage. What's better than that? 